thing in them. So I hope you enjoy my Texas style nachos and what all am I putting in them? I am putting, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown some meat, some taco meat. So I have that going on. And then I'm going to make a cheese sauce. I'm using American cheese. Now I know a lot of people may frown on American cheese, but it melts really, really well. And I also have something that's kind of interesting at the store. It's a crumble con salt. So it is sour cream with a little bit of salt. Very interesting there. So I also have some guacamole. I have chopped jalapeno peppers. And I just dribbled those all over my laptop. That's great. Um, I have... <laughs> I have some red onions, some cilantro, and white onions. And as soon as I get started, I am going to introduce my peanut calories um, down below. So let me wipe off my laptop and we'll get started. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to switch my camera so you can get a little bit closer in. All right, and I'm doing this in an electric skillet, so that should be good. So I have about a pound of ground sirloin here, so this is very nice and medium, and I'm just going to brown this with a little bit of onions. Couple tablespoons of onions. All right, so let me go ahead and take a moment to go ahead and introduce my peanut gallery below. So if you'll just raise your hand when I mention your name, that would be great. So I have Denise Earthman, my college friend. Um, we met in a chemistry class like years ago. I won't tell you how many years ago because then you can figure out how old we are. Um, then <laughs> I have Fran, my friend Fran, another food blogger, the other half of Franly. Fran has a great blog. <laughs> Fran has a great blog, um, Thin Recipes. And we have Jennifer Fields who is a wonderful, wonderful baker. And you can catch her YouTube channel, and she has a website. Jennifer, can you tell us what your website is? Yes, I'm um, pastrychefonline.com. And the YouTube channel, um, you find it at youtube.com slash jmfield65. Perfect. Fran, you want to give a plug for your blog, too? Since apparently I... Sure, it's uh, thinrecipes.com, but don't expect any thin recipes since living where I live for a year and almost a half. There's nothing thin in Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I also have Melissa as well. Melissa is a longtime viewer of Copycat, so welcome. I'm very glad to have you. So I'm just browning hamburger meat. Nothing terribly exciting right here. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a moment to chat, I guess. So is anybody else? Is nachos popular where you all are? Probably everybody but Fran eats nachos. Yes? I absolutely eat nachos. I love them. I like nachos. They just, anything Tex-Mex here is not what we expect. So what is Tex-Mex like in Honduras? Um, an enchilada is, it, it's like a taquito almost, but, you know, they're not, it's not Mexican food, so it's not that good, really. And a taco is, some, is something flat and has kind of weird stuff in it. Really? I've had, um, it's a lot of them were flat like that before. You had what, Stephanie? Enchiladas that were flat. Yeah, yep, they do that too. But, you know, it's, it's Honduras, it's Mayan, so corn tortillas are everywhere, which I love.
Yeah. Every I time made. I eat, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that I made some nachos a couple of weeks ago with brisket. I just braised the mess out of it until it just like fell apart into shreds, and then just like kind of like put it all over the chips and stuff. That was quite good too. I do that with short ribs. It's yeah. Good. Mm. Like Tex-Mex up some short ribs. It's delicious. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. So, do you ever use other meats too, Stephanie? I have done nachos, I think, with just about everything humanly possible. Um, chicken, shrimp. I have some shrimp, shrimp nachos at Copycat. And, um, yeah. Brisket sounds really good, though. I had kind of wanted to try to do some barbecue nachos um, at some point in the future. I think barbecue with... I don't know, maybe some really nice sharp cheddar cheese sauce, barbecue, little barbecue sauce. I don't know, what would you put on that? In Texas, you'd put on pickles and onions. So that might be a little weird or interesting. I'm not I'm excited yet. Okay, so this hamburger meat is incredibly, incredibly lean. Um, it was 90% lean, 10% fat, so I am not going to drain it. I'm going to go ahead and add in my taco seasoning. And I have the recipe for taco seasoning on the blog. Um, check that out. And that recipe is just awesome. I use that all the time. I, yeah, because I like making my own homemade taco seasoning. You don't have to add salt in. And I love cumin and chipotle powder. So I like it a little smoky and hot. So perfect. I'm going to add a little water to these and put it simmer. Could you use beer if you wanted to? The beer would be great. Mmm. Mm. Beer sounds really good. A cold beer right now would be spectacular. Okay. All right, and so now I'm going to go ahead and start the cheese sauce in just a second and swap cameras. Okay, so for the cheese sauce, I am using my fondue pot, um, which has come in awfully handy lately. <laughs> I've melted chocolate in it recently. Um, what else have I done? I've done all kinds of things in it. So in here, I'm going to saute um, a little bit of white onion. It's just a little bit of oil. I just kind of want to let it sweat down just a little bit. Yeah, disappear. Okay. See if I can move that now. Stephanie, guess who is um, coming to the hangout? I just saw on the event page. Who's that? Jolene Sugar Baker. No, I. I, I am not even kidding you. Oh, how can I be Sugar Baker? <laughs> Can oh can she like instant message me her email address? Um let's see. I'm at Stephanie Manley at gmail.com. Stephanie.manley at gmail.com. Does Jolie Sugar Baker know that we were talking about Jolie Sugar Baker? <laughs> I do I don't know. It's kind of magical that she's here. She's oh, a, a big Jolie Sugar Baker. Do what? She's she's lives very close to where I live in the U.S. I know all these cool people live close to where you do. Yeah, well, nation's capital, you know. Oh, that's bitching. She just sent me a comment. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're such a big that's fan. Such a big I am a big fan. So. 
it's, it's, okay. It's, it's a huge compliment, Stephanie. It is. I really like Jolene Sugar Baker because um, she's a trailer park queen, right? <laughs> I just posted um, her G Plus profile link into the chat. So I bet if you click on that and add her to circles, you could invite her in if you wanted to. Ooh. Ooh. How about this? I am inviting Jolene right now. Look at that. That is cool. So this will stop being about nachos and be about how cool I think Jolene Sugar Baker is. <laughs> and nachos. And nachos. You have to change the name of this to Trailer Park Queen Nachos. I could. I could. So that's awesome. You know what would be the next best thing? William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he magically shows up. Some people have his um, G Plus thing and they invite him. But he never shows up. Well, how about George Takei? Well, he's probably cooler than um, or Will Wheaton, or more fun, or Will Wheaton, right? Okay, all right. So I've invited Jolene. Okay, so my onions are um, sautéing up just a little bit. They're nice and kind of sweating. Now I'm going to add some green peppers. Uh, these are just green chilies, the kind that come in a can. Because uh, those are nice and easy. And then I'm going to add about a pound of American cheese. And I just grabbed this from the store. If you go to the deli, you can just ask for a pound of American cheese. So that's pretty cool. All right. And so we got American cheese in there. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of um, milk to go in there. All right, we're going to let this melt. So has anybody else put anything exciting in their cheese when they make nachos, or, or are you a shredded cheese kind of folks? I'm usually a shredded person. You're I a do shredded. a bechamel, yeah. And, you and do the whole bechamel, and then? Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know why. When I make nachos, I just grate the cheese and put it under the broiler, like sprinkle it on the chips and then throw it under the broiler and then add the other toppings later. Right. I'm kind of the Dolphita no, well, Piste Picante. That's, that's, there Good. you go, or Rotel. Mm -hmm. Dolphita and Rotel, we've all done that. Yep. Right? My friends from Texas taught me that back in 1979. That's awesome. I like the Rotel on my macaroni and cheese casserole. Oh, man, it's so dark in here. I can't take it. I have to move to the light. Stephanie, right. Stephanie, you might want to blue box yourself because anybody who's talking is popping up and it's a little distracting. Okay, I will do that. I will blue box myself because I'm in control. There you go. There you go. All right. This cheese is melting rather quickly. I think we're going to have nachos together in not too long. Hooray! Hooray! Am I the only person that thinks of beavis and butthead when they think of nachos? Fire! 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 Yes, Beavis and Butthead was on when we were in college. Okay. Now you're giving it away, Stephanie. Oh, I did. Maybe it was in reruns then. Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's it. I know. So I was working with a software developer today, and we actually work in a very old language called Cobalt. Um, for one of our software programs. The software developer was born in 1985. I think they pretty well stopped using that software in 1985. So, yes. All right. So, you know, Velveeta comes in sharp cheddar, or sharp flavor now, right? 
I did not know that. Cool. And they do. They do. Actually, so getting back to queso in like the area of Texas where I live, it is most often American cheese, and it has a very distinctive flavor. Um, so if you were going to get queso in a restaurant down here, this is very similar to what you would get. So I've sweated some onions in here, and then I've put in some green chilies, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of chopped jalapenos. These are the pickle kind. They're not fresh. I don't always like to use fresh because they can be such a surprise to whether they're going to be hot or not. So. Is anybody cooking a big menu for the Super Bowl? I'm not just going to be... I'm, I'm not watching it either. We're driving to the beach that day, actually. But I'll be taking all of my leftover hangout food to the beach with us. That's excellent. So what all have you made for the hangout? Um, I made pimento cheese yesterday. And then today oh, was the pepperoni bread. And I wanted to show people like the different um, stages of the bread. So we're ending up with four small loaves of pepperoni bread. So yeah, it's a very bread-rich environment and cheese-rich at our house right now. I don't think you can have a Super Bowl without some hotel cheese dip. That's, that's wonderful. I've never made a cheese sauce like that, but now I will. Yeah, um, so I really like it with the green chilies in there. They're nice, a mild flavor. If you get the pickled jalapenos, um, they're not too spicy, so they're very, very nice. And what else? Um, the onions in there add a nice little texture, a little flavor. So you can see my cheese is done now. So I just love this fondue pot. I've done chocolate. I'm going to do chocolate fondue in it for the Valentine's oh. day thing. What else? Um, I've made a lot of fondue in here, actually. All right. So we have... Yeah. All right, so I'm going to add some cheese. These will be done in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to put them in the these really, what's the camera met? These really cool spoons at the Asian market. Denise was with me when we got these. Those are good. They're bamboo or something. I'm not sure what they are. Okay. So I hate to say this, but um, my work cafeteria serves these style of nachos, and I get them, sadly, far too often. Wow. Because it's safe to eat nachos at work, because they, uh, they're very consistent. Okay, so then we're going to put on some of the hamburger meat. All right, what else do we have? I have some pickled jalapeno peppers, so they're nice and not too hot. I have some fresh cilantro because I just love cilantro. I know some people think it tastes like soap, but uh, I think it tastes very, very good. I am a fan as well. Some people, it, I think it's genetic, I've heard, that for some people it tastes like soap. It's funny, we had this conversation yesterday in um, Lenny and Denise's hangout where they made some hot wings and they put some cilantro in their sauce. And we had the same conversation about how it's some sort of enzymatic thing. You either have the, the enzyme in you that allows you to taste the yumminess or you, ha or you don't and it tastes like soap. So. Alright, and some nice fresh guacamole. And then I have my crema con sal. I'm barely the cat would like some nachos too right now. It's right here. 
Do you hear the cat? Oh yeah, now I do. Yeah. <laughs> I was unaware that the cat likes nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so there are my Super Bowl, my Texas Super Bowl nachos. Apparently, I need to give them to my cat immediately. Um, Those are a thing of beauty, Stephanie. They're beautiful. I love them. I love nachos. Oh. Alrighty, so I'll go ahead and give one a try. No picante <laughs> sauce? I didn't put any picante sauce on them. You could. I do not have any picante sauce in my house right now. These have lots of peppers on them. I've got jalapeno peppers in the sauce. And in the, um, on top, there's some in the guacamole, onions, all kinds of good stuff. Alrighty, so there are my Texas Super Bowl nachos, so I will post a link to the taco seasoning in the post. And I will also go ahead and write up the direction for this recipe on the blog. So there you go. There are my Texas-style Super Bowl nachos. And stay tuned. Tomorrow, I am going to do a video for... Boneless Buffalo Chicken Bites at 11 a.m. Central Time. So check back for that. Thanks. Thank you.